Uh, disappointed in uh, the outcome. Appreciate the players' fight. Um, and uh, they certainly did that. They, there was two minutes and 18 seconds left or whatever there was, four minutes and 40 seconds left when we got the ball back. We had a two minute and 32 second drive, I believe it was, to go get that touchdown. Um, our defense did a good job of uh, getting a lot of stops tonight. Uh, we can't turn the ball over three different times. One was for a touchdown. One was a comeback uh, or a corner route that we left inside on a bootleg on first down. Cannot do that. And um, that led to, uh, you know, we just had to make a change at that point in time. The uh, defensively, they got three takeaways off of NAU's offense. The ball was on the ground two other times. Um, and we didn't nearly uh, make any, many, enough points from those takeaways. I think we only got a field goal from those takeaways. So Ciro had a great one. Kenny had a great one. I think Trey uh, might have knocked one out. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, very, very disappointing. Credit to NAU. They came in here. They battled. They had a good plan. They ran a... They, they did a lot of good things. They stayed with it. They made a great play on an interception um, with a minute 48 in the first half uh, that ended up resulting in a touchdown when we're up 13 nothing, And um, that really hurts. That really hurts. And, and our, our players are hurting right now. We got a very upset locker room. We got guys that, you know, are, are really, uh, real, really upset. Uh, we let NAU celebrate. Uh, they got their win. They, uh, you know, we didn't feel the need to be out there at that point in time. Uh, let them enjoy their moment. And um, congratulations to Coach Ball. But we got our work cut out for us, and we got to get back to work immediately. Raise your hand. Michael. You uh, talk, talk often about learning how not to lose before you can win. Is tonight a good example of that? Yeah, there, there's no question. I mean, we, we yeah, we, 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 have, we have situations in the game that we have to do better at. I mean, we have, you know, we, we have to understand down and distance better. We have to understand field position better. We have to understand when to take shots, when not to take shots, when to take sacks, when not to take sacks, when you, you know, obviously the turnovers are just brutal, when to take a chance, when not to take a chance. Um, there's so much learning that has to occur. And, um, you know, we have to try to fast forward the learning. We have to fast forward the learning. We have to figure out a way to keep keep pushing it so we understand it better and we keep building off of what we're trying to get done. Yeah, we, you know, we had some good drives this game. We had some opportunities, but when we turned the tape on, uh, I think we're all going to be very frustrated on the opportunities that we missed. And that was uh, really hard. How would you rate the defense's performance to give this direction in most of the plays? I think the defense, you know, the defense should have had a shutout in the first half. We throw an interception for a touchdown. They had all the momentum, uh, our defense. They were taking the ball away three different times, three different series. They were getting stops. Our defense were playing with great passion. We had a couple penalties that cost us, and those are really hard penalties. I mean, the, the Mo Diallo play, I mean, I, I don't know. I, you know. I guess he got his helmet there, and that caused the targeting. That looked, you know, that's a tough one. Jackson Turner's playing free safety. There's a dig route. He comes in. He's got to get lower. Uh, and, you know, that cost us there a couple penalties. But those guys played with great effort. Jackson played unbelievable tonight. He was all over, all over the field. He was totally committed to having a great game, as was Mo. I, I think our defense did a lot of good things tonight. Uh, obviously, we have to get stops um, in the second half. Um, and uh, we, we've got to be better. We, get, we can't turn the ball over. That led to a touchdown. And then they drove the ball on us. And that led to a touchdown. And both of those were, uh, were critical. Uh, for disgruntled fans or former players who are kind of disappointed with the loss, what's just kind of your message to them right now? So are we. We're very disappointed with the loss. We're not, uh, we don't accept losing. We are not uh, in this uh, working as hard as we work to lose. Um, and we have to be better. And we're working to be better. And we're sitting here right now in a situation where we're trying to build this thing, um, you know, playing uh, games that, uh, we, we need to we need to kind of come up with some wins and we need to compete and we need to keep battling and we had a chance there to tie this game up but you know we've got to also stay the course and we also have to understand that we're in a situation here where we're trying to build something special for the long haul and it's not to build it for one night it's to build it for the entire time um, that we're all together and that's going to be for a very long time to try to get this thing right but doing that we're going to go through some bumps and bruises early on. 
hey, along those lines, just all the goodwill that you did this, this nine months, do you think that's, this is hurt? I hope not. I don't think treating people right should be affected by whether or not uh, we were able to come out with the outcome we wanted. I, I hope that reaching out to our community and reaching out to our former players and to our alumni and, and bringing back uh, some of the great ones that we have here would ever affect um, what we're trying to get accomplished. We are in year one, game three of a 12 game season and of a, trying to build something over time here. And with that being said, yeah, of course, we're always going to be frustrated when the outcome is not what we want it to be. But we also recognize that we're going to try to see the forest through the trees and not get caught up in one game. Michael, um, your assessment of Will Plummer's play and then also where we're headed with the quarterback. Uh, yeah, I was uh, there. Were, there were some plays that Will made that were were good plays. And um, but but the biggest thing for the quarterback position is until we can start understanding what we're trying to get done on each play call, it's gonna cause us um, a lot of consternation and a lot of change. And that's what I'm gonna talk to all three of those guys about, that we have to understand the first play that Jordan went in on was a bootleg to the right and he ended up to the left 12 yards away. Um, you know, we can't, and then took a sack and it's next thing it's second and 20. With Will, we have, it's third and 18 with 34 seconds left in the half and we're running a post and an in cut and we have a chance to throw the post and we throw the in cut for six yards. You know, we have to, we have to understand what we're trying to get done here. We have to have a better idea on play callers purpose so we can take some of these shots when they present themselves. We got to do a better job with helping these guys out. We're going to do a better job with them. Um, we also understand there's a lot of experience that's lacking. Um, you know, in that position room, you're talking about freshmen, you're talking about red shirt freshmen, you're talking about, um, Jordan who just arrived and we've got to do a good job of trying to expedite them and but we got to play games and when you play games against defenses that do some things a little bit different you've got to find a way to um, to be able to handle that and that's what I was talking about in regards to knowing all the situations and knowing what's going on in the games and we've got to do a better job there. Anything else? Michael? Um, you guys had I think only 106 yards rushing maybe only 22 in the first half on this point are you in that output, given that you need so much emphasis going into the game on blocking as well as Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm obviously, Michael, very disappointed in all aspects of the game, run game being one of them, pass game being one of them, uh, scoring. You know, we can't keep getting close and not scoring. And we've just got to find a way to be better uh, in all phases, coaching, playing, uh, and every part of it. And we've got to just make make that emphasis to get better. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there tomorrow and we're going to get it right. And then we're going to uh, give them Monday off. And then we're going to prepare for uh, Oregon Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, get on a plane and go play a football game. Last one, Michael. Um, how come Trayvon Mason didn't play tonight? Uh, he was coming back from a, an injury that I wasn't, uh, I didn't know if he'd be ready or not. I thought he would be, but uh, he'll be good to go for next week. He just, uh, he got dinged in the uh, last game. Jason, last one here. Are you tempted at this point to give McLeod the extended reps next week? Well, you know, I, I, I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but I want to make sure I watch the film. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very frustrating situation, you know, being in this quarterback derby. And you don't want to get to the point where it's like, well, how do you ever get into that rhythm? But with that being said, um, we also have to, you know, maybe some experience could help, you know, playing games, starting games could help, but also um, maybe it's time to just, you know, continue to build off of gaining experience. So we'll look at the tape on Sunday and then make that decision. What was the most disappointing part uh, about this loss in the back? Just losing, I mean, we, didn't execute in the red zone once again. So I think that's probably the most disappointing thing, knowing we had opportunities to end the game in the first half. And you let them sit around, you never know what could happen in college football. So just not capitalizing on the opportunities we had on third and short and when we're in the red zone. I mean, that's our biggest thing we need to work on. So right. that's probably the most disappointing thing. Trish, how, how frustrated is for the defense when you guys are getting all these stops to the offense that's not able to, to take advantage of you, is it hard not to get frustrated and uh, disheartened by that? I mean, we're all human. Of course, it's going to be frustrating, but it's a game of football. 
you're always going to have adversity. You're always going to have hard troubles, but you got to bounce back. If the offense is playing bad, we got to pick it up for them. Like, we just got to play better. We all got to come together as one. Even if the offense is slow, we're going to still have a back. If, they, if the defense is slow, they're going to have our back. We all got to come together as one, and we got to go get a win. That's the only thing that's important right now is getting a win. Stanley, did you feel like you guys were in a proper mental frame of mind for Yes. That's all I got to say, yeah, we were. Did you ever imagine the outcome being what it is tonight? No. I mean, NAU is a great team. They're disciplined. They play physical. They play hard. I mean, they have a chip on their shoulder. And they came out and played, and they played better than us today, and they capitalized on the opportunities they had. So props to NAU, but... I mean, what else am I supposed to say? Coach Fish talks about like learning how not to lose, learn how to win in the offense. I think you have three turnovers tonight. How big of a factor do you think that was in the game? I mean, it's a momentum swing. They, and our defense did a good job holding them to little to no points sometimes on the turnovers. But when you have turnovers, big plays are bound to happen for the other team because it's a momentum shift. So yes, I think it played a big part in us losing the game, but we still had opportunities to win the game, so. what would you say to fans who share your frustration, hoping to see some improvement from previous years and not seeing it this point? What would your message be? Just keep supporting. I mean, we can't really say much else, but just keep supporting, and we just got to go out for them and play. Like, that's the only thing that can be said right now. We just got to go out and play and execute. Like all these mishaps and mistakes, like it's unacceptable. Like I don't take losing at all lightly. Like I don't like to lose. I'm a winner. Like I go and compete every play, put your body on the line every play, and let the results lay out for you. I, I would say the same. I mean, just keep supporting because we're gonna play as hard as we can. If we don't get the outcome we want, I mean, just keep supporting us because we're trying as hard as we can. It's not like we're just going out there and expecting to lose every game. So. That's what I'd have to say to the fans. I know they're frustrated just like we are, but it's life. Things happen, so just we're going to come back tomorrow, go over the film, and Monday we're back to work because we have a big game against Oregon and Eugene. So that's what we're focused on now. Uh, Stanley, you guys have a, a similar feeling to the 70-7 game against ASU from last year? No, I don't think about that anymore than it was last year. I mean, that's last year. I'm focused on this year. I mean, it's different. It's a whole different environment, different coaching staff, different players. So I don't try to compare anything from last year to anything to this year. I mean, NAU played their, played their butts off and they won the game. That's, I mean, that's it. That's, there's nothing else to really say. And I don't compare it to the, NA, or the ASU game. It's not the same. Uh, Coach Fish said that you, know, you guys were hurting in the locker room, how would you describe what kind of the, the vibe was and who was that when you guys came back in? Embarrassing. I mean, it's embarrassing. You don't want to lose to what most people consider your little brother up north. Like, NAU is an FCS school, and they're a great school, but, it, I mean, it's been 15-1 and one now, 15-2 and two in the last 17 years. Like, so, that's not something you're going to enjoy afterwards. Of course, people are going to be upset. So, I mean, that's just what it was, and that's how it should be. I mean, no one should be happy. No one should be joking around. And I think it just, now we got to lock in more than ever. And Pac-12 play, that's all that matters now. So we got to go out and win the Pac-12 South. Like, that's our goal, and that's what we've been aiming to do. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know what happened in the previous years, but we focused on 2021. Like, we don't worry about all of what happened last year. I wasn't here. That doesn't really matter. There's new coaches. There's a new team. We got to gel together. We got to come out every game and play as hard as we can and get a dub. That's what we plan for. You play football to win, period. Trayshawn, aside from the results on the scoreboard, what's your experience been like so far in Arizona? My experience has been great. Like, I love the guys here. I love the coaches here. I came here for a reason. I came here to play Power 5 football. Like, I came here to win. I came here to play hard. I came here to showcase and help the team win. Just like I said, my main goal for this team, our main goal for this whole team is to win. That's a game of football. All the mistakes, all the mishaps, like put that behind you. Like if you go and play hard, give 100% effort, it's going to show. And you're going to get that scoreboard that you want at, when the fourth quarter is over. Like, we want to win. That's it. Uh, Stanley, what was Coach Fish's message after the game? 
Yeah. I mean, he didn't really have to say much. The, the captains and the players who are older said it themselves, and he agreed. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's not something that we should ever be proud of. It's not something that we should look back at and dwell on. I mean, we got to grow from it, and that's what we're going to do. I mean, Coach Fish is just as embarrassed as us, and we lost the game. I mean, that's all. I mean, there's not much to say about it. No. Uh, so Michael, on the punt return, did you think you were going to score? Did you end up kind of tripping over this one of your own guys? Yeah, I, I did think I was going to score, but I didn't. So, I mean, it was a big play, led to three points, but it doesn't matter. It, nothing. It didn't. It didn't. It, we didn't end the game in the result we wanted. It, so. I mean, Every time Stanley get the ball, we expect him to score. He is a playmaker. That's what he does. He gets the ball, he makes magic happen. So he expects to score every time. Every time he gets the ball, we expect him to score. That's what we hold him to, and that's what he's going to do every game. 